Hi, I'm Jocelyn Chia. Welcome to Mango Bay. I got cancelled by an entire country in Malaysia and I'm an international fugitive now. Mango Bay, Mango Bay. <laughs> For the exclusive content, don't forget to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash mango bay. Mango, 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 mango bay. Mango Bay, one stop shop for South Asian mm. recklessness. We are two best boys, Usama Siddiqui, Pranav, Pranav Bahari, Bahari. That's right. Who are comedians in New York, funniest comics on earth. And we're here to bring you the South Asian Tamasha, the jungly, the stories, the, the wilderness, hungama, the hungama, the jungly vibes all the way. We're just going to get into it. I think uh, this today. a good one. I was we got a very special guest. I was pumped to get her on because she is uh, exploding on the scene here. Jocelyn Chia. Jocelyn hey, Chia. Hey guys. A friend of Hi, mine. Jocelyn. A friend of the pod. Uh, how are you doing? Good. Yeah, surprisingly good for being an international fugitive. I know. <laughs> Interpol's most wanted. Interpol's most wanted. There's like sniper lights is going on her forehead right now. That's right. Dude, okay, so let's just do a little background yeah. here. Let's get into Jocelyn's Let's talk about Jocelyn real quick. Yes. Because I, Jocelyn, I think, was already going as a comedian when yes. I started comedy. And I was like, this bitch is the hardest working comedian I think I've ever 100%. seen. Oh, really? Oh yeah, I used to see you I everywhere. Think I'm so Zip, lazy. Dude. Zipping around. Of course but you like do. Asian you lazy. Stop tiger momming yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's dude, your inner tiger mom. Tiger you're, 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 you're lazy, Jocelyn. Yeah. You're lazy. <laughs> but dude, you know, also, also tiger mom vibes was in, uh, during feedback mics where you do a set and then you get feedback. Jocelyn always had some feedback. <laughs> yeah, 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 this yeah. woman would be like, "So you're fat. <laughs> 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 your dick too small. Your dick too small." Known Jocelyn for years and years and years. Always a hard worker. Always going. Uh, people at the cellar have a hard time following this woman. Oh, wow. Uh, you think so? People love this woman. People love her comedy. Uh, you are in there. You are a New York comic through and through. That's yeah. right. And uh, I've been here for like seven, eight years. I think. Yeah, since, since, since you since first came back. to New York right here. Yeah. Um, just coming up in the scene, cellar, et cetera, making it with the waves. Does a joke. <laughs> Does a joke. So can you tell the joke real quick? Yeah, so okay. the joke is about how I, I'm from Singapore and when Singapore gained any pens from the British, we were a struggling little nation. In order to survive, we formed a union for a larger, more powerful country, Malaysia. Malaysia. Boom. But then Malaysia broke up with us. Yeah, just kicked us out of the union. <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. The bastards. <laughs> I'm going to get canceled again by Malaysia for saying that. By an illegitimate child? I'm a bastard. <laughs> I'm a bastard. And, and so Malaysia kicks us out. When my prime minister went on TV to announce that Malaysia had dumped us, he actually cried yeah. because he thought we're not going to survive wow. without Malaysia. Right. What was his name? Lee? Lee Kuan Yew. Lee yeah, Kuan Yew. Yeah, Lee Kuan Yew. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but it's a happy ending because 40 years later, Singapore became a first world country. Crazy right. rich yes, Asians. Yes, love it, love yeah. it. Woo! Crazy rich Asians. That's us, yes. That's us bitches. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and and the then Malaysia still a developing country. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> And <laughs> that's not the one. That's Hold not on. the one. That's the starting to be that's the one. That's starting start. to be okay. one. You okay. see where this is going? <laughs> oh, developing country. Fuck you, Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And That's then, the best break of revenge, right? And now Malaysia's trying to come around like, hey, Singapore, you're looking good, la. <laughs> and Singapore's like, I know, but why haven't you visited me in 40 years? <laughs> and Malaysia's like, I try, but you know, my airplanes cannot fly. Oh, oh, double. Oh, 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 oh double. what, what, what? Malaysian Airlines going missing, not funny, product. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. Never I mind. think... Some jokes don't land. Oh. Bam. <laughs> Explosion. Oh. Explosion. Heard around the world. Oh. Right. I, and you know what? Here's the irony. A seller comic actually told me this is a weapons great joke. And it actually detonated <laughs> Wait, across who the, fuck the talks world. about comedy like that? I know. But that's how explosive this joke landed. Who, who said Unlike that? Weapons claim. great. That was, weapons. A, that was an Iranian comic. <laughs> definitely. I know. He's wired Mer as Mehran, fuck. Mehran, Ryan Reese. Mehran Kagani came in. He's like, Mehran it's a weapons <laughs> grade. Just like my Iranian cock. Um, <laughs> so, Jocelyn, I, uh, the first I had even heard about this wasn't through com. I was hearing some weird murmuring. Mm. Some people are here and they're posting. I'm like, oh, Jocelyn, I got a great uh, a reel or something that popped. Good for her. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> then next thing I know, I'm searching on doing my morning news roundup. Interpol. <laughs> Interpol has an arrest warrant 
for <laughs> Jocelyn Chia for offensive <laughs> joke. Dude, I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, you know, I heard about it. I was trying to go to Lout that day, no. uh, and it was closed. No. Because they're like, they're like, we're sending all of our workers to go find Jocelyn. That's hilarious. <laughs> and I was like, I can't even have my nasi goreng today, because Jocelyn ruined my lunch. Yeah, so the Singapore ministers apologized to Malaysia on behalf of my joke. And Holy shit. so now... And okay, so, wait, wait, wait. So can we go step oh, by yeah. step? So you made this joke, yeah. you put it on TikTok and Instagram, right? Yes. Bo- both things. And it, was it viral immediately? Or was it kind of like going mm. So normal? actually the seller posted first. Right. Um, my, my collab function was down, so we had to post it separately. So the seller yeah. posted one day and I posted it the next day. Right. When the seller posted, it didn't go very viral on Instagram. Right. It, it went more it. viral on TikTok, but in a very positive manner. Sure, there was sure. a lot of right. positive comments. Right, right. When I posted for some weird reason, the, I'll go send it to Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> this is all TikTok's what, fault. What could it be? Because you're a Malaysian, perhaps? I'm Singaporean. Singaporean. Oh, right, right. You fucking that? racist. Whoa, that, <laughs> wow, right now. racist. She thinks they all look alike. All right. Mm. Um, and all okay. geographically the same too now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, so so you posted those, right? Yeah. That second one went, went crazy. And then the TikTok, when you posted on TikTok, she started getting a little negative. She started getting negative. My TikTok was very negative. The seller one was so apologetic. I was like, why? It's such a difference. So I was like, well, I'm gonna not going to read my comments. I'll just read the seller TikTok. Oh <laughs> and so God. I didn't even know shit was hitting the fan until I started getting emails and phone calls from Malaysia. Phone calls from Malaysia. Phone Malaysia, calls from they Malaysia. have the country. Plus six zero. I know the area code. <laughs> yeah. Plus six zero. Was it like uh, like good phone quality? Or was it like you had that shh behind? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Every, the long there's still a 1G shh, network. Shh. I mean... Again, at the risk of like, you know, sounding insensitive, it's like they're just coming at you for no reason. I mean, like you just do a joke. No, and I the mean, whole listen, they have a reason. They I have mean, a reason. It's right. just whether or not it's a good reason right. is another question. Right. right? And then mul- there were multiple reasons because in the clip itself that got posted, that I had crowd work in there too because there were Malaysians in the audience. Yeah, right. And you know when you have something like that, it's, and because the joke is very much like a breakup followed by a glow up, right? Yeah. And so. It was almost like the one time where an ex-boyfriend was actually in the audience and he didn't know I was performing. I yes. got a <laughs> shit on him. And the audience was laughing. So it's the same thing. Like Malaysia was now the ex-boyfriend. Right. And I'm taking on the role of the ex-girlfriend who's yeah. now like a supermodel. Yeah. <laughs> ripping on Malaysia. Yes. So it comes across as pretty angry. And at the very end, um, Red, who's a keyboardist at the seller, was like, oh, we're getting a bad review now. And I was like, oh, a bad review from the Malaysians? That's okay. They don't have internet. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Now, how did the Malaysians um, in the audience respond? They were a little further away, so I couldn't mm. see. But generally, I mean, for this one, I'm not sure. But generally, when I do get Malaysians in the audience, they'll, start, they'll come up and be like, oh, I really like your set, and I'm right. from Malaysia. Just right, to show yeah. that they have a good sense of humor, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, most times, dude, when you're in the context of the set. In the context of the set, and the yeah. the energy of the set. Correct. This is the ruining uh, of comedy with the TikTok with and all clips, that. clips, yeah. yeah. The context is gone. The energy is gone. You're alone, sad, in a room. And that's yeah. going to color how you look at jokes. And also, right? it was so edited because the full set at the time was like two minutes plus but you know the seller had to edit in 90 seconds so it's, it's taking out so much of the the flavor of it right yeah and that's where you go like yeah malaysians are chinky weirdos you know? <laughs> that's the real good stuff they didn't even see the good stuff that's right i have to suck up to them i was like malaysia your cock very big <laughs> <laughs> your, co- <laughs> your nasi lama is better than singapore <laughs> <laughs> so and I'm I'm seeing a lot of these hikes. I'm in Saudi Arabia at this time. I'm doing Hajj in oh, Saudi yeah. Arabia. You're doing what in Saudi Arabia? It's Hajj, it's like a, a pilgrimage uh, for this documentary. It's oh something God, Malaysians so Muslim. do. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about it. It's yeah. a, it's a, it's backwards culture stuff. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and uh, like someone hit me up, like random, like Dylan was like, "Do you know Jocelyn's getting flamed online?" I'm like, "What?" Tim Dylan? The uh, Dylan Paladino. Oh, okay. He's with me there. And so I look at this TikTok, and it's like the most angry fucking people. I see videos. With like younger Gen Z Malaysians making the least funny videos of all time. Yes, mm. absolutely. I didn't uh, to the point where I got racist. I was like, I guess Malaysians are not funny people. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just like a very serious bunch of gang. Because they were just trying, they were trying to dunk on you on these videos, and they weren't even really funny. You know? <laughs> yeah, they were. like that was a joke. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got him. I mean, if there, if the one nine eleven joke, look, I don't read the stuff that's written about me, but it, this was in the news about how, and I had been hearing from American comics who have been defending me that the Malaysians have been spamming their walls with nine eleven jokes, but it's so not funny. And one news article picked this one up, and I thought wait, it was so wait, funny. Wait, 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 Malaysians were doing nine eleven jokes to America. Yeah, because so, they think it's insensitive to us. It's not <laughs> all, every American. And they probably weren't good jokes either. They were probably just like remember nine eleven, and that's it. They're like, actually, yeah. This we is do. it. Okay, I'll, I'll give you an example. I saw two <laughs> tower being crashed. Oh, I see. There's a plane fly crash the tower. <laughs> <laughs> and just and just wanna ask, 
Is that 911? Oh my god. <laughs> Better than half the comics in New York already. <laughs> Literally already so good. You're just like plain joke. Has a plane in it. Take that, bitch. <laughs> I, think, I think Malaysians are chat GPT, I guess. That's yeah, the one. Chat GPT. Funny enough, yeah. I saw, I, before you came over, I was scrolling to see the yeah. clip and see. Yeah. Somebody posted an AI apology I, by I Jocelyn I heard about Chia. this. I was yeah. call, are they funny? No, of course not. <laughs> of course not. Even AI can't save them. Also, the AI of you has an American accent. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so funny. So I'm Jocelyn Cheer. Yeah. Well, it's I like, guess to Malaysians, my accent on stage actually sounds pretty American. Like, you guys know, oh, you sound so chinky. Oh, I got a, I did not go say do that. chinky bingo. I did not say that at say all. That. <laughs> when you talk, does a gong sound in my head? Maybe. <laughs> but I didn't say that. Uh, that's insane. But yeah, to Malaysians, my accent probably sounds like pretty Americanized. Well, dude, a lot of people were hating it were Gen Z kids. That makes is that sense because is? I've been like, a lot of the, Malaysians have been trying to follow on? me on, on Instagram. I'm like, you guys are like 10 years 10 old. 10 years old, angry. Like super young, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, you're angry. The plane thing happened before when you were three. What, what is. Well, the thing about if it is. They were this, 10, it happened when they the were one. The thing about it is this yeah. is that Gen Z is already the least funny generation. Right. right. Oh, that's a good point. Right. Yeah. They have, they're the most humorless. They're the most conditioned by social media. Yeah. So they're looking at this like. Malaysian Gen Z is like, it's our time to shine, baby. <laughs> it's our moment. AI you know? apology. Exactly. Because okay, we know technology. Well, here's yeah. the thing. The, it's it's got to be sad for a country where the only thing people are knowing about you now <laughs> yeah. is shitty planes and yeah. this comic hates and then, you. Exactly. So it's like you, you to latch on to something, right? So I guess they're just going to work something in, like into their like new like economy of like, we, we talked about like the identitarian economy of like, it's behooves you to really talk about your thing. But your race, ironically, your... it's making the world remember the incompetence even more because it's like on the front page of the B- well, it was on the front page of the BBC, front page of CNN. It's like people had forgotten about the plane, right. Right. and like this joke would have gone. I mean, my last video had two thousand views. You know, like it's going to have gone be nowhere. Be now they made it world famous. I know. That's, be incredible. The, that's always the great thing about canceling people is that it just makes them stronger and bigger. <laughs> that's that's what I'm, what I'm hoping for you. No, oh, I hope so. Is that and this would be a two one two for one punch. Is mm-hmm. that someone from the crash sees your video <laughs> and makes a video from the crash? Like, hey, this was terrible. How dare you talk about us like that? And it they didn't find crash him. though. It didn't crash though. For all we know, it's they're so good at flying, it just kept flying. <laughs> it's still going. It's, it's <laughs> all the way up there somewhere. Relations are in Mars it's in now. In Mars now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't find any debris, right? They didn't find the debris. No, I don't know debris. if we need to bring the vibe down by talking <laughs> about it. Actually, I'm getting kind of hard getting right turned now. On that, yeah. No, no. Uh, so then, okay. So, who are some of the high profile? Like, like the president talked to you. Like, do you get like actual backlash? From the you president? know. So I had a kind of like bad girl cool moment when the Singapore <laughs> newspaper, our uh, national newspaper, yeah. reached out to me and they're like, "Do you want to do an interview for your home paper? We know you spoke to the New York Times, etc. Yeah. And but you, we would appreciate it if you spoke to your home paper. And and here are the questions. And one of the questions was, "What do you think of?" whatever his name wait, is what, wait hold on that could be the actual name please tell us what the name was who's the Malaysian Prime Vivian, Minister yeah. the, the foreign minister so the, uh, yeah. the equivalent of the Secretary of State of, yeah, of Singapore yeah. gotcha. something something whatever his name is <laughs> what do you think of what he said about you know, blah, 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 that could be I don't know Malaysian you're like some insignificant aunt <laughs> I don't really remember. Not worth remembering. <laughs> yeah, sure. Vivian like, something. Yeah. Indian guy, I think. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so that's why the last name is very complicated for me to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So she got us uh, blah, blah, blah. So Vivian, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it's a B. I know it's a B something. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. Because my friends would be like, yo, Vivian B. Like, what's talking about? You so I was like, okay, I know it's a Vivian, Vivian B. Vivian B. Mad at Jocelyn. B. Man. <laughs> <laughs> B, B, B <laughs> Vivian B. Mad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like, what do you think of, you know, what I'll... Vivian La 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 said about you, and I, and I replied, I didn't read it. Ooh. 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 That's bad. That's, that's, bad. that's bad. real bad. That's right. a bad girl cool But that's the Singaporean foreign minister. Like, Singaporean foreign so minister. So you're getting a lot of shit from Malaysians. Malaysians, some si- high level person was yeah. a the minister or right. prime minister. I have no idea. Now, are Singaporeans coming out in support of you, though? You know, surprisingly, no. I'm kind of pissed at them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the ones who are were like sneaking into my email. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, yeah, I'm yeah. one of your secret supporters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know they have to go underground. I've had underground fan club in Singapore. <laughs> Their VPN DM, but they you. showed up at the se- the comedy cellar in New York. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, they With showed the activists? up. Activists? No, Singaporean supporters. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Got yeah, and they, it was so funny because there was a Jocelyn Chia from Singapore in the audience, and so she was talking and to, in front of the whole crowd. She was telling how 
when she went to Malaysia as Jocelyn Chia, she got stopped at immigration. Wow. Whoa. I know. They're like, really hunting me down. She got stopped. Jocelyn's the new Osama. I, didn't know. Uh, it's, the, I was going to say Jocelyn's the new Cameron. Jocelyn's the new Osama. That's better. amazing. Well, wait, what is? <laughs> what do you? What would be the consequences if you went to Malaysia or something? Right oh, now? I get arrested. You get oh, arrested. Because, really? because um, they have like, I don't know how many police reports about me. I mean, they're asking Interpol to track me down. That means they want an arrest, right? Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. Malaysia's and they their... have arrested comedians before. Of at course. least once that right. I know of. So wow. they do this. You know, if only they had put this kind of effort into finding the plane. Damn. Damn. Boom. Hello. That one landed. <laughs> <laughs> Got up. I have no comment. I have no comment. He wow. doesn't want to get canceled by Malaysia. The first time Malaysia. Osama's ever been re- fearful on the podcast. Ah, really? It's the Malaysian. He saw the shit I, I got. Know. So he's like, yeah, you know what? This is not Here's the cross the die on. This is my equivalent to that. Not as bad as you at all. Mm. At all. America's Got Talent. Heidi Klum. You the Heidi Klum thing, right? Now, I didn't get the level of backlash, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, it was a one day, two day thing. I heard there Eugene was one Mando. day, though, that every fucking news article, Fox News, Just Jared, every oh, level fun. of the media was on it, right? Oh, you even got like CNN and BBC. CNN and Fox Whoa, News. I told him at the time, that's the best way you it could was, ever get dude, bounced out of a round. It was so on. good. Because it wasn't even offensive. So it yeah. was terrifying. Dude. At the moment, though, it was just terrifying. It was terrifying. I was scared as fuck because I was really? like, younger. I mean, I'm so young. I was 30, but I was still like terrified. I was like, this is my first big thing. And oh, oh no. Oh, I was And Chris, Chris Wait, D'Elia was like... just got out of her pedophilia. And I'm like, they're going to find me out too. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> um, and so I was like terrified. And I got all these different like... um. Like, uh, like uh, Instagram was love, all love. I love you. You're awesome. Good stuff. Facebook had some issues, right? Older people. Um, I had some Austrians no. come at me. I don't even like they stopped drinking beer for one second. They're like, you know, you if you ever come to Vienna, <laughs> it's going to be on site, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. No cop is no going cap. to be on site. You better watch. Well, the ops are here. The ops are here, <laughs> ready. And I was like, these Austrians are now. They, they put down their fucking pastries and shit <laughs> to get angry at a comic yeah. because Heidi Klum is Austrian. Oh, she's Austrian. I thought she was German. German. She's not. Yeah, she's like German. Austrian born, right, actually. Right. So oh, all the Austrians I see, came out. I see, I see. So then when I, I, I didn't get scared at all. That was goofy to me. You know? Yeah. I, that was goofy. Your shit is real. Your shit Interpol is actually My shit real. was just goofy at, at the end mm. of it. Like being stopped at the, and being arrested. <laughs> yeah. You know? You know, if the Austrian police tried to arrest me, I'd just punch him, you know, like, get off me. <laughs> nah. uh, you know, I just jostle him back out. But what if you just went there? What if you just did like a little blog and did a little vlog? That'd be pretty fucking bad. From, uh, from a jail in from Malaysia. From a jail in Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Patreon fans. I, yeah. But they don't have internet there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you are dunking on this bitch. <laughs> she just keep kicking this them all down. Dunking on these hoes. <laughs> She might be the most mango one of all. I'm, I'm scared to even talk to her right now. <laughs> yeah, they got small dicks too, by the way. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no, I say they got big cock, remember? And my apology. Uh, yeah, yeah. Big cock and your Nazi lemma is better than Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> and that still did nothing. They're still after you. Are they still after you? Like, in general, are you still getting a lot of hate? Uh, I'm, I do set my settings such that I don't see most of it, uh, but okay. I did change my Instagram to private. Okay. Um, and I do still get followed by Malaysians. you Presume you're trying to dunk on me. Yeah. Interesting enough, I have had a few Malaysians <laughs> slip in and as, as fans, like they have been support. Ah. So that's very interesting. So unfortunately, I have to like just say no to any Malaysian that I recognize as oh, a Malaysian. Oh, yeah. Now there's like a Muslim ban. There's a Muslim ban <laughs> from Jocelyn <laughs> Chia. Now you're being racially kind. This is a fascinating well, love concept. <laughs> so you're, you're <laughs> wow. So you stopped all Malaysian entry. I've got all Malaysian entry. <laughs> what do I feel about that? Wow. <laughs> what do I feel about that, dude? Wow, so Malaysians can't enter Singapore? Now? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. My, my Instagram. Instagram. Oh, okay. My I love that. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> the Malaysian ban. The Malaysian ban. Yeah, I ban Malaysians. Wow. That's, that's for I, their own good. For their own good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm protecting them. Yeah. And also, Malaysians don't look like one thing, bro. There's like Indians in there. There's like Tamils in there. It's true. I know. Right? It's yeah, true. but you know, sometimes it's pretty obvious. They have a Malaysian flag, you know. You know, I do have one Malaysian grip. One of my best friends growing up was Isaac Yanisagamani. Tamil Malaysian, and he was like, Malaysia is better than Bangladesh. And I'm like, no, it's not, dude. I'm like, yeah, it is. And then he showed me, like, he Googled Malaysia on um, Google Images, and it was like all these beautiful beaches and gorgeous shit. And I Googled mm-hmm. Bangladesh, and it was a guy, like, dying of doubt. Oh, my God, that's so funny. And he just won that one round of mm-hmm. Google Images, 
And I hate Malaysia since then. Oh, and then you funny. sent him a Jocelyn clip. <laughs> 30, 30 years 30 later. 30 years later, bitch. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> <laughs> I finally thought of the comeback. <laughs> Dude. Actually, Jocelyn thought of it. it. <laughs> but yes. Hey, don't take oh, a plane. Cool. Don't take Bangladesh a plane. Bangladeshi outsourcing to a Chinese. That's finally. <laughs> uh, I, I'm so proud of you for uh, sticking to your joke. Oh, and thank you. Doing, yeah, seriously. Doing shit, dude. You're, uh, Every comic has apologized. I mean, I saw Uncle Roger Nigel Ong did a yeah. joke that offended yeah. China. He got banned from Chinese social media and he apologized. I mean, I see so many examples. Well, of if he didn't apologize, he'd be poor by tomorrow. Like, he needs to apologize to China. But if he's banned on social media in China, what... What does the apology do? Did they even reinstate him? Okay, but that's not even a difficult thing to get banned on Chinese social right, media. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you just got to be like, hey, I'm kind of hungry right now. Whoop, and then boom. Right, they... and he still has a flourishing career in the rest of the world. Yeah, he's I'm, huge. Yeah. He's huge, dude. Yeah, so I'm not really sure. He, I don't think he had to. I mean, maybe he wanted to, I guess. Any like Singaporean or Malaysian comics come out to support you? Yeah, but all in... All in private, except for the first couple of Malaysia. Actually, well, okay, Singapore a little bit. So a couple of Malaysian comics did come out. Um, a very famous Malaysian comic. I'm gonna not gonna say his name because he's got so much death threats. Sure, right? sure. After for, ap- for helping you for out? saying I love this bit and Ooh. sharing it. Right. Yeah. Wow, I love that. And yeah. then another one got a lot of shit for tweeting. Everyone's suddenly a comedy expert. <laughs> right. Wow. Just like that Malaysia. level. So is Malaysia? Kind of a passionate country? Are they passionate? Are they intense? They might be passionate. Like, huh? this is a lot of intensity. It's a lot of intensity. They might Burr. be like the Latinos of the East. <laughs> 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 I'll cut you. Oh my God, that's got to be it. They're just like very just, a very passionate. Just very passionate. Country. That makes sense. I mean, even in comedy shows, they are. They're actually more fun than a Singaporean audience because they laugh, they right. have fun. So they could be, they could be the Latinos of the East. Yeah, yeah. that makes and sense. And that's the thing when you get a Latino angry at a show, mm-hmm. so that there goes your whole. Set. I also Filipinos were the Latinos of the East. That's just a butt thing. That's not a. Oh, that's because they were a Spanish, um, right? But the butt thing too. The butt thing. Dude. What butt thing? What do you mean? Oh, they they have big butts. Oh, they have big butts. Oh yeah. And you it's all based like on that. Spanish uh, conquest. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All that tamales and <laughs> burritos <laughs> going to the butt. <laughs> Imagine a country country being like raped into big butts and it's like, it's the food. <laughs> yeah. You guys had a couple burritos, didn't you? <laughs> was it years <laughs> of ravaging us? <laughs> oh, it was the rape. Oh, I didn't even yeah. think about that. <laughs> wow, a lot of carbs, isn't it? <laughs> literally, I totally thought so. Literally <laughs> trauma everywhere in the culture. <laughs> St- lay off the gordita <laughs> supremes. Ever heard of the South Beach diet? Huh? <laughs> Philippines. This is why you sometimes say I'm very innocent with Sama. Yeah. <laughs> My mind sometimes gets Jocelyn be is the funniest in terms of like um, like falling into dirty shit. <laughs> yeah. She'd be like, what's pegging? And I'm like, well, Jocelyn, sit down. I had to learn it from and watching comedy. Pegging, choking, all the like the really nasty yeah. shit I learned from being a comedian because I would watch male comics talk about uh, it. Ah, yeah. interesting. She didn't watch, learn that through porn. She didn't learn yeah. that through <laughs> dating. <laughs> all of those accents that are whimsical that when yeah. you talk dirty shit, it's funny. I remember Katie Boyle mm. had a joke oh, about yeah. anal, about a guy going in without... Anal. But, but, I know, <laughs> I but, but anal. the joke was, she doesn't even say it. She's like, this guy went into my butt. And I was like, lad, what are you doing? Lad. <laughs> lad. lad. You can't call someone who does anal a lad. A lad. Because <laughs> then it becomes pedophilia. Then it becomes pedophilia. <laughs> Yeah. Fella, what, what, are you, what are you doing, <laughs> lad? <laughs> lad. <laughs> lad sells it. That's exactly. Perfect. So your accent's kind of like, what's, what's this? What's, what's pegging? pegging? What's pegging? What's yeah. rape? <laughs> What is this thing? <laughs> what is what? Oh, this thing. Oh, yeah. I had to learn you know from is? watching comedy. Yeah. Watching. Wait, so you watched a comedy? I watched a comedy. Like a comedy talk about fisting. And I had to go home and Google it. <laughs> watching comedians, <laughs> by the way, the fisting? worst way to get a sex education. <laughs> okay. The absolute worst. You know, that's how I learned about sex, too. Yeah. Well, I was in ninth grade. I didn't know what sex was. I had no idea. A Muslim kid. No, no concept. Mm. I saw, I typed in sex joke one time. And the joke uh, punchline was put it in. And I was like, how could you do that? That makes no sense. We all have dicks. And then I, <laughs> and I read, read up on it and it was like, I, I, that's, I learned about vaginas that day. Yeah. I, my, I, my he was like, vaginas time. are like women's dicks. Yeah. That's what, that was your vibe. I saw the wrong vagina. I saw like a big clit one. I'm like, that's still a dick. <laughs> oh, you all have two dicks? Yeah. What? When I first learned about it, I thought it was just two genitalia rubbing against one another. I didn't know the oh, penetration. Like just the vapors would create a baby. It was like friction. Oh, okay. <laughs> we all had our thing, right? <laughs> Um, I feel like you knew about sex when you were I, three. I, no, <laughs> not three. <laughs> you were Two. knee deep in put, put some pussy. Like 12, you know. <laughs> yeah. Were you, the, were you the kid like telling the other kids about bad shit? No, I was the kid. Uh, not about sex. Yeah. Um, actually, maybe. You a are, bit dude, about 100%. Sex. 
Um, you know what, you know what a blumpkin is, guys? <laughs> Not the <laughs> Cleveland steamer was was how I turned them on. Wait, what's that? That's when you shit on someone's chest. Um, <laughs> Cleveland also steamer. known at the time as a hot Carl. I don't understand oh. why it was called that. I call it the Kuala Lumpur special. <laughs> no, but anyway, I got other kids into like. I got you, Joss. I got them Thank into you. like swearing and <laughs> smoking and drinking yeah. that kind of thing. That's what I'm saying, dude. You yeah. were like, oh, dude, I was just not that kid, man. Well, I, I know. When I was like tw- nine years old, I was taught um, the curse signals. My friend was like under the t- under the table. And you know what? You want to say fuck you with sign language? <laughs> 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 and then and then she taught me another. She's like, oh, so there's one more. Oh, dude! That's when I should have been clued in that there was penetration. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, yeah. You I didn't put no two and two. The person you were talking to is a sexual predator. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. And I said, "That's a funny joke, Uncle. What's going on? What's next?" I was, was a good a girl. kid. I was a good kid. You I was, was a very. I, my bad boy was like, "He's a bad boy. He's a Shia Muslim." Watch out. <laughs> Watch out. He's a Shia. I was you pretty know? naughty. Like in high school, when my friends would be at the teacher's lounge, one, one student reported back to me that, oh, the teachers were around in a circle and one teacher was in the middle showing them your photo and being like, this is Justin Chia. Ah, uh, see, uh, that was me. That was you, yeah. Yeah, that was me. That's crazy. I used to get into a lot of trouble. Yeah, That's same crazy. here. My, my teachers would write letters to my parents like, you're the only, your son's the only one who didn't try to claw my face yeah. <laughs> during class. Oh, you're that good, huh? I was wow. a good kid. I was, I was a shy, a good boy. shy little good boy. He's still a good boy, actually. In my heart, I'm a good boy, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Good little I look out, I look for the planes myself. I go there sometimes and just oh, you volunteer look for, look for mission. wreckage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm in Fukushima doing stuff. I'm, did like your family or any anything like that, uh, did they, how did, how did they respond to it? Surprisingly did, did they still live in Singapore, right? Yeah. Um, surprisingly supportive. You know, my mom hasn't been supportive about my comedy career <laughs> until you're racist against Malaysians. Until, yeah. until yeah. now yeah. that I'm like national what? news, international news. Yeah, she's like, course. oh, my daughter's so famous now. <laughs> she's like a famous public you're a, speaker. You're a, you know, oh, oh, your daughter's a brain surgeon. Oh, that's nice. Mine's wanted by Interpol. It's <laughs> mm-hmm. your daughter on the front you know, page of the BBC. Like, <laughs> like even like McAfee's grandma is like, my son travels. <laughs> my grandson travels a lot. Like the grandma will never see you as a bad. Never, yeah. right? You yeah. know. That's funny. That's and so <laughs> there was um. So I went when when this first came out, people were like shitting on my my Instagram. And I did see a, f- a few of the first comments like, "Oh, you know how can you make fun of tragedy?" And I was like, "Tragedy plus time equals comedy." Like the yeah. most famous comedy quote, yeah. right? You guys are Asians. You know math. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. <laughs> and then this got quoted as a Jocelyn Chia quote by the Malaysian Tra- Whoa! press. Whoa! Yeah. Oh. That's money. That is money. That is money. A That's Mark money. Twain quote got yeah. attributed to Justin so Chia. All you gotta do is go to a place that has no internet, say some some badass shit that's already been yeah. on a throw pillar for the last thirty five yeah. years. Yeah. And now I'll, I'll Justin Chia says, "Live, laugh, love." <laughs> <laughs> Front page, Singapore Times. Guys, be the change Justin you want to see in the world. Justin Chia says, "Money doesn't buy happiness." <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> a genius. <laughs> You're a genius. But so my mom, and this is where I knew how how much she supported me. My mom messaged me. Why don't you post? Why don't you Google tragedy plus time equals comedy before you comment, huh? Whoa. <laughs> I know. That's like some major Asian mom support. Yeah, that's a like manager shit. Huge. Right? For Asian mom to say that who wasn't supportive of my Love career. It. She's Love doing it. Duncan Duncan comments. She's yeah. trying to dunk on your She on your wanted haters. me to dunk on them even more. Yeah. Wow. I wow, I love that. And your mom was never like that interested before. Like she was kind of like, yeah, no. When, when I mean, she she treated my comedy career the way she treated me dating white boys. You know, if like they're yeah. white, she doesn't want to hear about it. Yeah. Right. If they're from it's Singapore, just a phase. It's just a then phase. she wants to hear about it. It's just a phase. Comedy is you doing white stuff. Yeah, to yeah. Her. It's she's a white her, thing. She's just yeah. in her white face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ten years, <laughs> she's just phase, in her white face. Comedy. She'll come around it. She'll become a neurosurgeon afterwards. Meanwhile, white people aren't funny at all. It's really a black face to be honest. <laughs> it's true. If you if you be honest, you know. Good point. Um, that's crazy. Cause my mom was also like. I told I tried to tell my mom about the controversy. She's like, "What? Yeah. what? The controversy is me hating your life. Yeah. Like that's get, get that taken <laughs> Maybe care that of should be on the news. <laughs> You're a disappointment. <laughs> You're a bad son. Fox News. Uh, but she never understood really anything I was doing. Hmm. You know, like his mom really gets gets it. Oh like really? A little clicked, bit. She's clicked in. My mom uh, came, went for my Comedy Central taping, ironically in Malaysia. And oh, fuck. afterwards, on the way home, she was like, oh, is it too late to go back to law? Yeah. <laughs> That's my God, that so fuck God um. Is it too late to, go, too back late to, to go back to law? Man, they hit you with... And that's the, sa- that's the sad one. That's not even doctor. So that's like, they're like, hey, can you just go back to your sad profession? The yeah, one that we exactly. already hated before. But she was so proud. I mean, I was a top. Like, mom, law yeah. found me. Yeah. Yeah. Law is coming for me. You got your wish, mom. That's, <laughs> that's right. right. That's right. That's insane. And I so should be you... a criminal defense attorney defending myself. That's true. Put the system on trial. 
Dude, I mean, right now, have you done some road gigs where people are coming in? Maybe there's like some hecklers coming in. No. Like, have you had anything like more dangerous in well, real life? Well, ha- I had to do a, I mean, this is when, you know how people say, oh, you know, all these people looking so good on social media, yeah. their life isn't really that good. My life was better than how I was looking yeah. to the public eye because everyone thought I was like, under my sheets or something yeah. like you know in <laughs> under your sheets <laughs> fetal position <laughs> i love your concept of like white sadness right? <laughs> yeah. under, the sheets, under the sheets eating tea <laughs> right eating ben and jerry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but your life was better i was in colorado in the mountains yeah. right. and I, I had a gig there i mean the only thing they added was they put two security guards at, at the show wow. and so all the americans Co- were like why are there security wait, wait, guards in colorado the in Col- yeah. there's two guys in flannel and <laughs> <laughs> and beanies. I mean, they also do have mass shootings. So I was like, okay, you know what? This is like a two for one. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> white area. There could be mass shootings because this was um this was Denver where they had like, okay, yeah. like actual history, right? Yeah. So I was right. Like, all right, defend against the Malaysians and incels. Yeah, per- perfect. Which might actually be the- a lot of overlap. Oh, yeah. I was just gonna say that Venn diagram. <laughs> <laughs> but she had to make it more Asian yeah. by putting it in diagram form. <laughs> When Justin's happy, she gets more Asian. Yeah. Like her full, the eyes become like this, <laughs> full anime Asian. Well, dude, I'm I'm just so happy you're you're riding this wave. I feel like sometimes controversy can be like intense and kind of break people, but that's why I like texted you from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, thank I was you. Like, for I love you, that. dude. Fucking watch it, be safe. You know. I mean, I think to to your point about how you were younger when this when your yeah. thing happened and you didn't yeah. ha- know how to handle. I'm I, in a way, I'm a little glad that I'm older now. I mean, a, we have a lot of ageism in, in the society in general, but in a way, I was like, well, for like the emotional maturity, one like that helped me just withstand it better. And two, fortunately, unfortunately, we're in an industry where so many comics have gone canceled that I could learn from their wisdom. Like this will mm. pass. Um. It's only going to be online, yeah. right? right? They don't even say anything to your face. Yeah. Um, and then one comment was like, in one week, if you keep an elegant silence, you won't even hear, you won't even get a single message, I mm. promise you. I mean, unfortunately, I didn't manage to keep my elegant silence. Fuck that, though. I <laughs> would want to live it up a, a little bit. Elegant silence. Keep but dunking on my but haters. But that's the difference between the Asian comics and the, and the American comics. The right. Asian comics were universally like just, not just comics, all the Asian people gave me advice. Like, just lay low, you know, be quiet. I'll, I'll take Asian advice over... Other advice. Really? But the Americans were all like, you just blow up your career, dude. Oh, yeah. I yeah, mean, that PR. is the move. Yeah. So, so what is it? You just right? want to go back to 2,000 views on a reel? No. Right, you wanna, exactly. You want to live it up. I mean, ironically. I'm just saying because Asians started advice. Ah. Uh, you know? Y'all began the whole thing of advice. So it's like y'all been doing it for the longest. Uh, that 2,000 view video I had, and I was like, oh, this video is so good. More people should view it. Now yeah. it's like 1.2 million because yeah, of the yeah. Malaysians. Oh, yeah. okay. yeah. I, I, sorry I said anything. <laughs> Thank you, Malaysia. Rewind. <laughs> That's amazing. Hate can drive. Hate can drive. Your own growth. I'm I now a YouTube partner, <laughs> monetization Wait, oh, partner. Nice. Got some hey, Malaysia. Hey, uh, <laughs> Pakistan can suck my dick. <laughs> How about that? Y'all, y'all have no vegetables. <laughs> suck my dick. <laughs> no Everyone's a terrorist in Pakistan. And they also have no internet. <laughs> and y'all, yeah, I know, know that's another country. That's the final. That they're not gonna hear from you, bro. Yeah, they're not gonna hear from you. <laughs> That's the problem with hating on this no Wi-Fi having bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Have you ever been to Malaysia? Have you ever actually been there? Like, yeah, actually, I mean, I, yeah. ironically, I mean, I hate that the Malaysians, I hate letting the Malaysians know this, but I actually love Malaysia. Of course. <laughs> it's beautiful. You're right. The beaches. I've been there since I was a little kid. Good. The food is great. I do go to Laos, by the way. I love Laos. I do love Laos. Uh, it's yes. a very good place. It's I mean, I've still Square. been withholding. I've been like boycotting yeah. my favorite Malaysian restaurants <laughs> in New York. <laughs> I, like, in That's a fancy way of saying I'm scared to go there. No, because it's delivery. Like okay. I always get it delivered, okay. but I'm like, mm, I'm going to stay strong. No ordering from <laughs> New Malaysia. <laughs> I love Malaysian food. I love Malaysian it's food. Not, but I, some of it's Indonesian too, right? Like nasi goreng is like both Indonesian and Malaysian. And also Singaporean. Yeah. Yeah, but Malaysia's accuse Singaporeans of stealing it. Yeah, probably right. Actually. I don't even know what, it's an island shit, bro. Yeah. Who went on what island, Why bro? did Singapore blow up like that and Malaysia stayed... As Malaysia. How did but Singapore become an economic tiger? I think Lee Kuan Yew was a Lee Kuan Yew was the yeah. guy, big right? guy. Yeah, he was yeah. dynamic as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he really did it. Um, he some he made English our first language, which really helped us yeah. do commerce internationally. So we all speak but English. You know, I, I did like that. Who's a Muslim liberator of Malaysia? I liked him. He seemed kind of cool. Oh, who yeah. liberated from Japan? You know whatever. What? There is one guy that I really like. like. I was like, this guy's a fucking badass. He's like this, like maybe he was like a bad Mahat- administrator. Is it Mahathir? Something, oh, right? Mahathir, yes. Yeah, yeah. 
And he was like this badass fighter, yeah, 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 shitty ad- administrator guy. But he was like, you know, <laughs> r- rally people. You know, mm-hmm. I like I like a rallier. A rallier. He was the Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so wait, and, and by the way, there's a random thing about Jocelyn that I know that I love, and that she was raised by raised by Indians. Oh yeah, that's right. I was raised what? by you know Indians. This? Yeah, I why is race? Now Indian. Indians are going to get blamed for this. By the way, in Malaysia, <laughs> there's going right. to be pogroms of Indians now. Why, how were you raised by Indians? So they were my neighbors, and my parents were working, so they just got them to babysit me. I even had to spend a night at times too when my parents had overseas trips. So they they really Indian me out. They put a bindi on my forehead. Oh, Indian oh, out. <laughs> yeah, very cute. I had to eat food with my hands. It was adorable. I love Aww. it, dude. That is, is, you're making it seem like it's a slave labor thing. I know. They were actually <laughs> her <laughs> nannies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, stop making it seem like you made you do. This. Uh, <laughs> it's our culture. Okay, it's what we do. Uh, Twelve years a slave here. <laughs> vibes. I they took know. away my tw- shoes. Tw- Twelve years of Indian. Oh yeah, that's right. To walk around barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> you loved it all. Shut up. Um, where are they now? Do you still see them? Are you still like, I went for um, actually the wedding of one of the girls I grew up with, but a few years ago, mm. many yeah. years ago. Mm. Do you know Hindi? Do you know a little bit of Tamil? You know, I know Vanakam. Va- Vanakam. Vanakam. <laughs> what is Vanakam? I don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> it means hello or something. Either hello or good night. Yeah, yeah, Varnakam, right? Varnakam. 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 means like get over here or something like that. Oh, thumbnail? that's yeah, what you thumbnail, use with yeah. your girls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> get over here. Get over here, you ho. <laughs> <laughs> that is South Asian courtship in a nutshell. <laughs> get, hey, over get, here. Here. get over here. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> make me a sandwich. No, <laughs> maybe some roti prata. Listen, we're going to talk more racist shit from Jocelyn yeah. in a second on the Patreon. <laughs> Uh, stick around. She, she combined white racism with brown race. Make me a sandwich. Yeah, make me a sandwich. <laughs> and then I changed the prata. I was like, wait, that's not make accurate. Me, make me a Bombay sandwich. Yeah. You guys have roti prata, right? We do. Hold this thought. Uh, we're going to go to Patreon where Jocelyn tries to figure out who we are yeah. a little more. Patreon.com slash Mango Bay. What Mango Bay? Hey.